to lead mm -hmm. and talk about AI use cases. I'll take questions, but I may, I may be over time, so maybe we can do that. Yeah, we'll wrap that for discussion yeah. at the end. Yeah. Great, thanks. Um, thank you, Alex. Appreciate that. So um, I'm just going to whiz through some of this because I think we're a fairly educated crowd. Um, but from our experience uh, with working with large financial services enterprise, there are some use cases that are rising to the top faster than others. And no coincidence, I put fraud as the first example here, mainly because we're seeing there's quite a lot of collaboration around this. Um, with a lot of other use cases, algo trading, people are being very opaque, uh, right, rightfully so, about their proprietary algos. Um, whereas with fraud, there is recognition that uh, collaboration and um, exploration of shared tools is something that can be, that the tide that can rise all boats. And also there is a bit of an arms race here. Pe the bad actors are using ML um, to perpetrate fraudulent attacks. Uh, so we're seeing that actually fraud was one, one of the first areas, certainly when we began to engage with organizations like Barclays, that we were put in front of. Um, and in fact, with our colleagues uh, Ravelin, who are um, fraud specialists, we're seeing that ML is making a big difference. Actually, not just to kind of the banking institutions, but also at merchant level. Um, so uh, they have a very interesting use case of where they've helped the... Um, uh, um, uh, the uh, fast food outlet Just Eat, um, because obviously they were getting, they're seeing an, a, a ridiculous proportion of cloned cards, and they're being able to arrest that figure for them. Then the next one is slightly more interesting. Um, uh, I think we, we touched in the discussion at the beginning about ML that, 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 that um, uh, articulates and, and mitigates for other ML, and actually I think this is an area where we're going to see um, more and more. Uh, Alex referenced our participation in the APPG group, um, but we're also seeing that uh, enterprise want to understand compliance and actually how does that fit within the context of ML. We ran a session in this room um, uh, themed around GDPR and uh, machine learning deployment that accommodates that particular, particular regulation and how you can interpret ICO. Well, you know, we're all regulation is going to turn us all into lawyers, uh, or more likely um, ML is going to help us interpret regulation. So I think this is going to be a big area. And actually we're interested in this space because whatever deploy looks like for enterprise, it will have to have compliance baked in. So whether that's either explanation of why the model is doing what it's doing, or audit trails that provide a log of everyone that is touching the model and by extension the inherent data. Algo trading, um, obviously this one gets the traders excited, uh, and we are seeing some interesting conversations. Again, one of the cohort companies um, that, uh, that um, we shared space with at Rise is very focused on, on this particular area. And actually where we see Selden's role in this space is speeding up the time it takes to deploy these models. You know, the hedge fund uh, is uber paranoid about their models, about their data science, they're unlikely to share it with a, with, uh, with a third party, but what they are interested in is speed as competitive advantage. Can they iterate these models faster? And having a deployment solution like Selden is something that speaks to, to, to that value point. And then I'm, I'm conscious of time, so I'm gonna conflate these last two, customer experience um, uh, and, and, and customer engagement. They are separate, but they are flip sides of the same coin, in so far as you have to identify patterns of behavior from the engagement that you have with your customers. And I think this is gonna be seismic in terms of how it changes banks and the way they deal with customers. We hear a lot about challenger banks, and I'm not a big fan of that phrase, but I recognize the value of those types of organizations. They are built from the ground up using ML. They understand that user experience is everything, and whilst I don't imagine that the challenger bank space is going to displace the 300-year-old traditional banking company, I suspect that some of their behaviours, some of their tools and technologies will be subsumed. Um, and and, and I, my, my kind of final point on that is we see a lot that there is, there is a desire to uh, turn this rump uh, of, of uh, infrastructure stack into, uh, into an ML solution. And actually, it's our experience that that is probably not going to happen. Far more likely that the bank is going to stand up something separate 
to their existing um, stack and at some point figure out how they migrate from one to the other. This isn't going to be a solution where uh, my decade old um, SaaS based uh, stack, uh, I, I sprinkle my ML fairy dust on the top of it and I turn it into a, a silk purse. Far more likely that you'll see um, individual independent departments, divisions standing up ML solutions that will ultimately sunset their um, predecessors. Okay, so 